Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video I am going to show you how to jailbreak your switch on version 20.2.0. If you have already modded switch, go down below and skip to the update chapter. If you are new to this or for some reason want to do it from scratch, just continue watching video. So there is some things uh, you should know before starting. Your switch must be unpatched. Otherwise you have to install a mod chip before doing this. So I left you a link down below to check your switch before starting. In addition to Nintendo switch you also need USB-C cable, RCM jig, micro SD card and SD card reader. Anyways, let's put switch 1 on the table. So before starting make sure you are on the version 20.2.0. Turn off your switch and connect SD card to the computer using SD card reader. Download the Trailbreak AIO pack to your computer and extract it. Open guy format and format your SD card. Keep in mind that this will wipe your SD card. So if you want to keep some games you can transfer it to the system memory before doing this. The other thing you can do is to backup your save data to the cloud. Double check if your SD card is selected and then press start. Now copy everything from the SD card folder to the root of your SD card. Now put your SD card back into the switch and put on RCM jig. When holding volume up press the power button to enter RCM mode. Now connect your switch to the PC. Open Tegra RCM and select Hecate Payload. Now inject Payload. Go to EMU MMC, create EMU MMC, SD file.
so MUMC should be enabled. If not, you probably have a fake SD card. Now let's launch MUMC. And that's it. Your switch is now jailbroken and fully protected. In the HB menu you will find all the necessary apps for installing games. Now I'm going to show you how to update already modded switch. Connect your SD card to the computer and then download and extract update AIO pack. Backup and delete following files and folders and then copy everything from the SD files folder to the root of your SD card. Now let's update the custom fiber. Now go to album and open Daybreak app. Install. Select Fineware. Continue. Preserve settings. Install FAT32 plus XWAT. Continue. Now reboot. And that's it. So if you are a dual system user like me, you have to update stock firmware too. So let's do it.
And that's it my friends. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and see you on the next one. Bye.